So, we survived our first night in the RV here, in the wilderness. Uh, yeah, wind was really totally gone today, uh, tonight, so no problem there. And broke up quite early. And now we are using our bus ticket which we bought yesterday. Uh, should have brought our cables. And going to the big city of Paderborn, where the shortest river of Germany is born, the Pader. Ja, ja, ich hab für alle. Das wird der, oh, der Her Ultimate Week, we had already the bells at 7 o'clock, Saturday. What's the point of vacation if you like going up so early? Bells every week, right? Oh, that guy again. Turns out we are either way too early or way too late to catch the bus. It beats up time like almost an hour. The city of Paderborn has arrived by railway, but we came by bus. And like the the, the area around the train stayed main train station in most cities is like really about the worst place it can be. Quite sure how it's here, but uh, it seems they they are cheering the holding down there. Tiger. It's like the city has like like um, it's very much built around the historic city walls. So have like it's like the city center here. So it's a little bit early, so everything is closed still. But I I think Paderborn was also like a important city for tank production or something. So. Or like testing, I think they they tested the tiger tanks here, so there was some or well, probably some bombardment and destruction as well. Yeah, as expected, there was some bombardment here at the in the monastery from the Francisca, Franciscan Franciscan Franciscano order, and uh, the thing was totally destroyed in '45. And then we build the, uh, this is like like when you're going to German city with and you don't have any half timbered houses uh in the city center then that's usually due to bombardment uh, like they're like like that's like I can't really say how many percents, but if there are none around, or none, or, and usually, usually, sometimes they they like they paint it over or put a coating on, but 
like if there are none around or almost none that's always a, a sign for for some heavy destruction in the second world war yeah that's expected so like there's the building here from the picture Bombed out state. Oh, that tower one wasn't rebuilt, it seems. Maybe take a look down, down there. Some music here. Another church. Hmm. The city in sixteen forty seven. Let's do a flyby where we went. That thing. Oh, it seems that spring is an innovation because this. Oh no, that's over here. This here. So there must be another one down there. And this is the thing here, which is probably like the the church. This is the major mayor's office. Another church. Okay. Yeah. Seems quite medieval. Yeah, let's do a round trip. Uh, my son really likes those models, but this with the possibility to walk through, that's quite nice. So, like, like what I fi I'm figuring out is that this is like a like a counter uh, reformation center. Like uh, they had like a university, you know, Jesuit university here. And yeah, it's like like it's counterpoint to like uh, the the Evangelikalen, the Reformation movements uh, eastwards from here. So like uh, probably one of the places where well, almost in the borderlands to the to the. Um, to the uh, reformated churches eastwards from here, and yeah, so a bulwark against uh, against the the um, the reformation, so to say. Yeah, or like the I think the Jesuit movement was like uh, the part of the Catholic self-reform at the same time. So. Okay. As far as I understand this, of course. Also, this building we, we moved by earlier was the Gymnasium Theodor Dorarium. And like a Jesuit colleague. Uh, Jesuit school. Same here. Here we have this rail, and there's like a like the 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 enter entryway of the old building is has been recovered, but uh, the remaining part, of course, not. Yeah. So it's like a like a, like a, um, a hotel and. It was a post for for Holland, for Amsterdam and such, it was uh, stored here or transported near here.
Oh, so we found another weekly market. Yes, the museum of the art of 1000 years. History. Yeah, that's a nice. That's a really interesting thing here. Fountain. I don't know if it's a stuff nightmare or something. I was thinking that they disengaged it due to, uh, due to uh, the being winter, it's being winter, but I don't know. It's just, it's just uh, a timer. Yeah, that's the store which took all my money. So I got myself a couple of new shoes for my favorite brand. And yeah, my feet are already sore, so okay. Really terrible idea, but yeah, you learn by suffering sometimes. So like, uh, we were wondering what this is, but this is like a marker for one aerial bomb, which hit here in, in 1940, quite early in the war, so. And that's actually an interesting topic to talk about, because I showed so much destruction today. Not only to my wallet. So now the main attraction, the reason we came here for the pumpkin festival on the uh, and the uh, garden show. The kids are too excited. Yeah, it's like a forest garden thing. Past the time. Yeah. yeah, this is like probably from the naming. This is like the the state garden show area and usually they had those move around like every year to another location and they have quite a transformative power. I'm not quite sure if every state of Germany has one. I guess uh, Berlin, Bremen and Hamburg probably not. Maybe always in the same place but yeah like Hesse and Mordor and Westphalia where we are here and I think not Ryan, not Ryan, not Ryan Palatine, or however it's called in English. I think those have it. Those have certainly one more. Those I know of. Uh, Turing does. Uh. According to the map, there are about 10 playgrounds in the whole area. So. This is the first. Pumpkin, rabbits, and pigs, and a badger. There's the pumpkin links in the section yeah. with blisters on both feet. But I'm thankfully prepared by my army days for that. So it's not. Pain is just information for the mind, or something like that. Be happy and let's try out a pumpkin bratwurst. Hmm? Uh, those are pumpkins, right? Pumpkin sculpture. Yeah. 
over to coffee pumpkin. Oh, that's a pumpkin stick, right? That's an apple. Uh, apple uh, almost apple looking pumpkin. So, here's the world of pumpkins the red flower, the mini red tulip turban, mandarin, black belota, F1, Banta, his Sophie Pink, a German variant. Yeah. So, the US seems to be kind of important in. Cur and pumpkin breeding, right? Ah, there's a Portuguese one. Another from South America. A Chinese one. From Thailand. From Cambodia. The Cha Cha F1. Small wonder from Japan. Yeah. Everything. I you never wanted to know about pumpkin. Crowd F1. Oh, see how many pumpkins there are. Oh, the Phobos looks very much like the, the French one there. So. Oh, really, seems to be the US. To be the pumpkin breeding master. Very certainly. The microwave pumpkin. Japan has also some. Why do they fed put the why did they put Texas? Texas? In its own category there. We would count it to the US of A, right? Italian. And the Ger Germany seems to be beaten. It's really USA, Japan, France. Taiwan has Taiwan has for being a relatively small area country. The superior, superior. But actually, I think like like for. Landmass Taiwan is right up there, right? Say hmm. so like like probably sixty percent US or more. China, oh, the alligator from Brazil, striped crowns. One already missing. White banana. Yeah. Oh, I uh, one from Ireland. The speckled hound. In the middle. Oh, yeah. Quarter ton of pumpkin. Like 200 kilograms. Well, this is a remembrance for the liberation wars against Napoleon. And yeah, the, the Russian campaign was particularly gruesome for the German forces. As you can see here, like 13 young men from the city here went to Russia with Napoleon and 11 died there is quite quite up to the tasks and yeah. oh, quite up to the numbers so, yeah that happened so I think this was like the, the major point where many of the drums they had lost their their likeness of the revolution so to say like something where we detailed discussed in war and peace yeah. Pumpkin ants. Does that make them pants? Oh, so the pumpkin spider. Quite sure. Pumpkin ants. Don't know. 
also internet culture wise it's kind of sad or kind of they um, named half the playgrounds after trolls and the other half after apes so that's the troll throne in front of us yeah, troll throne in all its beauty actually i didn't film all most of the playgrounds right due to there being so many kids huh? yeah just check me out like at 21,000 steps today and yeah i was thinking so much stuff had happened or so much things we did today yeah. well, almost time to call it a day i would say but it's just 5 p.m so yeah I'm quite sure maybe we drive home today or tomorrow. Cannot be quite there yet. We have to convenient yeah, there's one playground with a with a squirrel nest there. Which you can slide. Eating station. So some stuff we haven't seen, so yeah. I have really no idea what a pumpkin owl is. That's oh, another bee. There's the pumpkin snail. <laughs> pumpkin snail, the pale. And there's the fox, the pumpkin fox. Oh, oh. Look at the most strange pumpkin eyes. Huh? No, the eyes are not pumpkins. Yeah. I think this was the pumpkin festival. But those are normal blue sheep, no, not pumpkin sheep. Yeah. Ah. Long, long day and... Yeah, so there's not too much happening tomorrow. And this week's vlog will be another one of the long ones. Yeah. It would be okay, yeah. Exactly 5 p.m. Sun's already at the horizon there. Oh, that's, that's the pumpkin woodpecker. So I was in real life once. Very rare, very rare. It's like the stack, stack beetle or something around name. Yeah. yeah. We're going to the army. I saw the plane, I can only hear it. So, seems like we are going to drive. I'm going to drive home right the remaining family is sleeping uh, and yeah, we're at like 25,000 steps or 17 kilometers kids are still walking around somewhat so kudos to them I guess uh, yeah was an interesting trip yeah, let's see let's get home safe and in one piece and then then conclude the thing not before and yeah everything hurts my back my feet certainly not used to action of that kind anymore but yeah I think I think for what we did was it's my actually almost price already Kids are still running around there, so. Yeah. Just a couple of hundred meters to the RV. Tugging in the cable. And uh, getting home. So. 1995 or whenever that stuff 
coffee machine effect is much slower, but like, interesting. Late autumn stroll. It's really cold up here on the, on the mountain. It was a really cold night as well, so probably the, maybe for the best that we returned home a day earlier than expected. It certainly was nicer for the cat. You have to figure out how to take him with us. If I wanted to try that, but my wife wouldn't hear of it, so. I haven't done that, but it's probably uh, has the question for him. It's probably more interesting when it's warmer, but on the other hand, then it's also more complicated uh, if he has to stay in the car. So, yeah, who knows? Hopefully, it's a little bit warm in the sun here. Yeah. yeah, and on my left foot is quite okay, and the right foot I've well, yeah, the right foot the blister is cr is quite bad. Uh, yeah, no new shoes for the twenty kilometer walk. Yeah. Wearing in period should be expected. At least my family now is faster than me as well. This is, that's a nice byproduct. I have no idea if pine cones are any, any healthy. But yeah, the sun, the setting sun, tilts everything in a, in a red, net, red night here. Reddish. And yeah, it's almost down there. But antenna. Thanks <laughs> 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 about halfway down. Seven, yeah. Find your kids red handed and you figure out there's something worse, worse than porn because there's emoji the movie and they're watching it secretly. That's that's really terrible. So it's Friday. Yeah. Really don't have too much energy to think during the week. Not too much happening other than this ground being dirty. Yeah. First week of school. Everything going back to normal. Normalcy. Who knows? <laughs>